Okay, so you should have your painting and it'll look something like this. The next step is to use watercolor paints to paint. So you are each going to have these little palettes of watercolor paints. You have all the primary and secondary colors. You each are going to need a paintbrush. I'd get a small to medium, nothing giant. You don't want to soak your paper in water. You're going to need a can of water and a sponge to dampen your brush. So you can mix your colors in any way you want on your paper. Please do not mix them in the cups of paint because that will just make a big mess. With watercolor paint, there are a couple of different ways you can paint. One is wet on wet. To do that, you just take water and you coat your surface. I'm dipping it in a can of water. I'm just kind of filling that space with water. Then I'm going to dip my brush in water again, tap it on the sponge, and pick up the paint color. You just swipe it around really well. It's called loading your brush. Load your brush really well with whatever color you want, and then you drop it into that water. If you want your colors to mix, then while it's still wet, rinse out your brush, tap off the excess water, pick up the next color you want to use, load your brush again, and drop it in there, and your colors will start to run together where the water is. You may also do just um, straight painting where you wet your brush, tap off the extra water, you pick up the paints, and then you just paint it straight onto your paper. You can do whichever you want. If you want your colors a little bit lighter, you just use a little bit more water, and you water down your paint a little bit to make it a lighter color. And then you just keep working and keep going until your painting is completely painted in. You can see that's what your finished product should look like.